tells me now they're wondering if they're going to have seats enough for everyone to get in for this historic event. Well, anyway, we're ready to go with Kerry. And the Latin Heart Trial Al Perez, if we can get Akbar out of the ring. still jabbering with Akbar. Perez, a great professional himself. Too bad he had to sell out to Devastation and Club Freddy, but nearly everyone else has. And Kerry locks up the high drop. Here we go. Wrestling organization is reality or only a hope. This could be my last program with you. Last time you'll see a lot of these stars otherwise. Dan standing for Kerry as they roll around in the road. Both these guys, of course, top contenders for all of the top single belts, including the world heavyweight title. Each a former world champion. Each would like a shot at. Gary the King Lord of the current champion is Akbar is around here wanting attention. Can I help you? Can I help you with something? Excuse me, Michael Rash, how it feels to be on a sinking ship. And I'm not going to say that all rats deserve the sinking ship because you're still here. And I want you to get full benefit of your last days in world class. I'm sorry to inform you that when the takeover comes, the complete takeover, when P.Y. Chu High defeats Eric Embry, you're gone. Face back. You're a big man. You can take it. I'll give you a severance pay like I did Dusik. Don't worry about it. Now let's talk about Al Perez. He's the uncrowned unified heavyweight champion of the world. He has a superior body. He's got the great brains, and he's a wrestling machine. Kerry Von Erich has a great body, but an eggplant brain. What else can I say? Kerry with a drive to knock Perez back. It must be a lot of class to have me here, not the uh, eggplant head, Frank Dusick. I like that word eggplant because it describes all you Americans. You know, there's a fine line in being smart and being ignorant. And you see, all you people are jealous because I'm just a little bit smarter. I don't have to pull credit cards out to buy anything. You see, I've got that cash. Your own American long green. Well, luckily, Akbar has got nothing left. As we continue, he's asking the fans where Frank Dusick is. Hammer locked by Kerry in the ring. Akbar very distracted. I've got to watch him for my own safety. Open for whom I want to do the color on this program. You understand? From now on, you'll be taking orders from me, Mark Lorenz. Thought I was fired. And your first order is, sorry, you're terminated. And the ropes goes the modern day warrior. I'm holding out for the USWA. Back into the corner goes Al Perez, thanks to a carry on every show. And it's a toe-to-toe, eye-to-eye -to -eye gaze from these two. And the shoving's getting out of hand. You can bet that Jerry Lawler will be watching this tape because both these guys are top contenders. And he in the near future will be having to face one of or both of these guys. Al Perez took this big bonus signing and bought these condominiums in Florida. And right now he's on top of the world. And he'll own the Peninsula State. 
from here on because Al Perez is going to be one of the superstars. He is one of the superstars in this wrestling profession right now. Look at this man. You're talking about a wrestling machine. And you can't deny that Al Perez is loaded with talent, Mark. Oh, I agree 100%. Exactly. Al Perez will pick his spots and then Terry Von Eric will pick his weaknesses and then you're going to see Al Perez prevail in this match. Out of the corner goes Al Perez just in the nick of time and Terry hits hard shoulder first against that post. Like I was saying, I've got to watch my back down. Too high already, who could it be next? Poor Frank's arm up. Nearly terminated me completely. Tojo Yamamoto spending countless hours with P.Y. Chuhai ready him mentally and physically. Perez leaps over the rope trying to get away from the Von Eric Iron Claw, but Kerry holds it tight. by please with the Perez out as Perez delivers the knee to the modern day warrior Eric and P.Y. coming up soon we'll have a delay here in the building while they get the rest of the throng in but on TV it will just be a short commercial break as Kerry delivers another tremendous drive Kerry wants that iron claw again he's going to try to set Perez up for it Backdrop, one, two. Gary pointing at Akbar. Gary with a knee on Perez in the corner. Skip Collins with our camera right there in the corner with him. There's a drive from Perez. Perez in charge. Back by parading around ringside here. That's the master of the sleeper, Al Perez. You see, I told you earlier that Al picks his spots and Kerry picks, picks, uh, I should say picks his weaknesses. You say I'm so excited. I can't hardly talk, Bart, because there's going to be a complete revamp of world-class wrestling. Oh, it's going to be great. Too bad you won't be around, Mark. Terry trying to stay out of this sleeper lock. Into the rope, Perez stops. Puts Terry right back in the sleeper again. Give Perez credit for using the old noodle. Corner goes the Latin heart drop and Terry with a chance to come back. Terry <laughs> with a shot and Perez hits the table, the floor. Terry wants to go out there with him. Look out! Into the table goes Perez. Furniture falling everywhere. Carry with another shot. Perez grabs the chair, throws it into Carry's midsection to break the momentum. I may have to vacate the premises here as Perez nails Carry again and Bogdanovic is signal for the bell to sound. They're both going to be counted out of the ring. Both men are counted out of the ring. Both men counted out on 20. Well, both men are counted out on the count of 20. Getting out of hand on the floor. Both of these guys, scientific wrestlers, but they got out of hand. We're out of here. Stay tuned. The showdown is next.